This video is sponsored by Card Kingdom. Go to the link in the description below so they know that I sent you. Hello everyone, I'm Nita Hone, and it is Saturday, and that means it's time for another episode of the History of the Bannon Restricted List. In the first three parts of this series, we discussed 1994, which was a very busy year. Wizards was getting ready to have the first World Championship, and they went back and forth a lot on banned and restricted decisions in an attempt to get the game right. Meanwhile, 1995 was pretty quiet in terms of the banned and restricted list. In fact, only three cards were added to the restricted list. Three cards would also be banned that year. However, 1995 was also the year when Magic went from just having one format where all sets were legal to having two formats. In one of these, all sets were legal. This would be called Type 1, what we call Vintage today, going forward. In the other, only more recent cards were legal. This was Type 2, or what we call today, Standard. From now on, we'll be looking at more than one ban and restricted list as each format has its own. However, in 1995, the two formats would restrict the same three cards, so we don't have to keep track of it in this video. And yes, note that while today Vintage is the only format with a restricted list, in 1995 cards could be restricted in Standard, or Type 2, as well. There were two announcements in 1995 that made changes to the banned and restricted lists of both formats. The first of these came on April 19th. It restricted two cards, Balance and Fork. These were both cards that had been around since Magic began, but had managed, so far, to avoid being named in any announcements. But now, they were restricted. Let's look more closely first at Balance. Balance is considered by some to be the most powerful white card ever printed, and I'm not sure they're wrong. While two white cards had been banned at this point in Divine Intervention and Shaharazad, they were banned because they made Magic miserable to play, not for power reasons. Balance would be the first white card in Magic's history that warranted a restriction based on power level. Balance makes the player with the most creatures sacrifice creatures until they had as many in play as their opponent, and then did the same thing with lands and cards in hand. In this sense, it balanced the board. However, it turns out the effect for two mana is very powerful and not balanced at all. Anytime you're behind your opponent in any way, this catches you back up for only two mana, which on its own is probably way too efficient for a card that has such a massive effect on the game. However, Balance found itself restricted in 1995 after a new deck emerged that could really abuse it called Rack Control. This deck sought to play everything in its hand, including the Rack, and then cast Balance to make the opponent lose their hand and any excess creatures or lands they might have in play. Then they beat them to death with the small creature and the Rack. This was far too easy to pull off, and Balance got restricted as a result. Rack Control lived on, and it would manage three top eights at 1995's World Championship, despite only being allowed one copy of Balance. Balance would continue to be played as a single copy in a lot of decks through 1996, and while it remains restricted in Vintage until this day, some decks still play the single copy they are allowed. Fork is the other card restricted in this announcement. While copying a spell is a fairly powerful effect, it's the kind we've seen several times in Standard the last several years, and none of those cards were in any danger of being banned. So why was Fork viewed as such a concern in 1995? Well, it is another card that fits into the category of undermines the restricted list. We have seen lots of cards that allow you to get more than one use out of restricted cards get restricted themselves as a result of a concern over this. And to some extent, it makes sense. The spells Fork could be copying were very powerful. It included things like Ancestral Recall, Demonic Tutor, or Berserk. Fork remained restricted until 2004. While it managed one top eight at the 1994 World Championship, it has never seen play since then. After the April announcement in 1995, Wizards would go the longest they had ever gone without changes to the ban and restricted list since it had been created the year before. Because the next announcement didn't come until November. In that announcement, one card was restricted, Zoran Orb. Three cards were also banned. Two cards we talked about in part three of this series, the dexterity cards, Chaos Orb and Falling Star. The other card that got banned we looked at in part two, and that's Channel, which enabled fast combos so its banning makes sense. We already discussed the eventual banning of these cards in those videos, so in this one we're just going to look at Zurin Orb. This is probably the most head-scratching card to be added to the restricted list in this particular video, and in 1995, Zurin Orb was from Ice Age, a set that was released in June of 1995. An effect like this is interesting at zero mana. I mean, cashing in lands for life sometimes is a good idea, but not really most of the time. However, Zurin Orb had some special applications at the time that made it too good. One of these was to combine it with balance, where you could cash in all your lands to gain life, and then you got to destroy all of your opponent's lands too. 
This also meant that it was a decent counter against land destruction like Balance and Armageddon, and a lot of decks had them available for opponents who ran those. However, the most troubling use of the card at the time was to combine it with fellow Ice Age card, Necropotence. This was a card that could allow you to draw cards in exchange for life, and it essentially made your lands read, sacrifice a land, draw two cards. And once it says that, it's pretty busted. While the card doesn't look like a lot to us today, it was basically a staple between 1995 and 1996, even if only one copy could be played, because it was either combined with Necropotence or Balance to be far more powerful than it appeared. It would be unrestricted in 1999, and has gone on to some modest success since then. So, that's already it for 1995. Like I said in the beginning, it was a pretty quiet year. Next time we'll look at 1996, which was also a fairly quiet year. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to like it and share it so that others can enjoy it too. If you want to make sure you catch future editions of the History of the Ban and Restricted list, don't forget to subscribe. You should also see the playlist featuring all parts of this series on your screen now. Thanks for watching.